Hello, I'm Mike Kinderlight with PowerWash.com. Today I want to show you a little tip on how to pour solution from a five gallon bucket and reduce the amount of splashback you get when you pour it from that bucket. I'm going to wear some safety glasses and some gloves. The solution that I'm using is non-hazardous, but in the event that you are using a hazardous product or corrosive, you want to wear some safety gear. And you may need more than what I got on here. You may need an apron as well. But what happens when you pour from the five gallon bucket when it's full, <clears throat> and I'll show you here real quick, but as this solution comes out, it needs to be replaced with air because this container has to have something in it as it flows. So if I'm pouring into this five gallon bucket, you'll see what happens. Get this splashing effect and that's shooting over the, the bucket. It can hit something around and splash it back on the person that's pouring it. So what I like to train people to do is to take the solution and get this hole up toward the top. Now as I start to pour it out, you can see that air will come in as I pour out. So I'm gonna pour it into here. <clears throat> you can see I no longer have that issue. And I can pour that all the way out without any issue. Leave a little in there. But anyway, there's a spray tip for me, a spray tip from us here at PowerWash.com. I'm Mike Hinderleiter. Is there anything that my company can do for you guys as far as um, solutions, chemicals, equipment, parts, supplies that have to do with the power washing industry, please give us a call. Our number is 1-800-433-2113 or you can find us on the web at www.powerwash.com and uh, don't worry, you're always going to get dirty when you're power washing. Take care guys. When I grow up, I want to be a power washer just like my daddy. <laughs>